Welcome to our brand new Chrysler Pacifica e-hybrid. I'm in it right now and uh, super excited about this car. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it today and we'll do some more videos if uh, you know there's some more things to tell as we show more and dive deeper. This will be just a basic overview of what the car is and what it looks like and we'd be happy to answer any questions in the future and do um, further videos based on what people are interested in. So first off, here I am, this is a minivan, and in all honesty, all the minivans you're gonna get in 2023 in America or Canada are quite good. There's a few main ones, the uh, Honda Odyssey, which people love, the Toyota, and there's a Kia, and they're all great. Um, this is another one that we think is really amazing, and what's special about this one is that it's an e-hybrid. So in 2023, as of the making of this video, and as of um, the best of our knowledge, just turn this on here. What we see here is that it's e-hybrid and it basically has both a gas tank and an electric tank or electrical engine, I guess. And so double engine, it's got it rated for 50 kilometers of, uh, of, of electrical. That will obviously depend on what you're doing in the city, stopping and starting. And basically you can, you can plug this in. So you can plug this in and charge it and charge it overnight. Um, that's what we're doing. And um, what you have here is this um, electric mode where you're driving basically using the battery mostly. So if you look in our dashboards plugged in and charging right now, but you can get all sorts of information. I'll turn on. There's no engine starting like a normal gas engine you've got all these different gears to tell you you know how much power you're using versus when you're charging and various controls on here so what you can see on our trip so far is we've basically done 186 kilometers using electric we've used 4.8 kilometers of gas and um, we have an 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers we can put the um, miles per gallon on there but that's very efficient. We've basically been driving mostly on battery. While you're driving, you can see what you're using. You could check out your driving history, when you used battery versus engine over time. And um, this has a ton of different controls, media, CarPlay, all the good stuff, tons of compartments everywhere, um, hidden compartments. You got, right now we got our back seats up. The third row is, is in, um, folded into the ground because uh, we're getting ready for a new baby to come and so we've got two captain seats and um, overall just loaded with features that's a, a special mirror that you can see all the kids you got all the electrical doors and lights and all this great stuff this is the touring l you know in terms of entry level this is already somewhat upgraded relative to other cars entry Plus it's got this hybrid option. So we're expecting to save a lot on gas. Of course, we're gonna do a, a video on that in the future. So far, it's been mostly electrical um, driving this, but um, you know, in the winter, we're expecting it's gonna need more gas and obviously on longer drives. It's a very limited battery. We find, you know, got to 85% from um, a few kilometers of city driving. And for us, um, this this really has been more than enough we haven't gone to below 50 percent on our daily drive so we can basically for our style of driving we can basically do mostly um electrical once in a while it will need to use the gas just to keep things moving and keep all the parts fresh and keep the gas from going stale but that's a basics of this car we love it so far it drives incredibly feels amazing you got all the different you know cameras and each model you know will have different things we got the safety sphere which we would recommend with the cameras and the parking assist and all that stuff and um, you know you can see what you're using so if we turn on the AC for example you'll be able to see that on the power flow now we're using some battery it's towards the climate and if we turn that off let's push that off um, the climate goes down, the battery's not really being used anymore. Um, and as you're driving, you can see those numbers going up and down. And yeah, we absolutely love it. This is really a fantastic car. 
um, just like all the other vans, but this electrical e-hybrid option um, really for us just, just pushes this to a whole other level. Feel super lucky that we were able to get this and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about the car, about the features, about the battery. We haven't seen that much out there on um, actually on the battery itself and how good it is and what, what rating quality you get. Um, so we'd be really happy to share all of that. So here's a look at the outside of the car. Um, of course you got that G license plate because this is electric. Um, even though it's only a 50 kilometer tank, it makes a big difference plugged in here. This is a level one charger that came with the car. Um, so level one, 12 amps, 120 volts charges in about 12 to 14 hours so basically it's an overnight kind of thing you plug into your normal wall plug and you could get a level two charger that charges it in about two hours um, and we're going to try a different charger that might charge it a little faster it's a level one 15, 16 amp um, but basically this is like you charge it overnight and you get up to 50 kilometers enough for our daily city drive and we love the look and uh yeah Thanks for joining us. Uh, let us know what you want to know in the comments and we'll speak to you later. Take it easy.